Hey, what's up, you guys? It has been more than a hot minute since I have actually been able to sit down and film something. Um, I'm going to be honest, with everything going on, I kind of took a break. Um, I did have stuff to unbox, but I didn't get around to it, and there are already unboxing of them up. So I figured not to do it. So what I figured to do today was just do an update of my photo card collection. So we're going to start with the boy group binder. I do have four binders, so let's start. As you can see, the first section is Taehung's. I do apologize about the glare. The window is open as well, so you can probably hear the wind. I don't believe his section has changed too much since the last time I've done a flip through. Maybe a photo card here or there. The one page is almost complete. Oh, actually, no. Some of his stuff did change now I think about it. These are all unofficial cards. This is where their last album should have been, but I have not been able to find any trades or reasonable sales. And I did decide to actually keep a set of OT7 cards from the tour merch that I bought. So they're all on this page. And I finally got the sleeves that actually work for their concert cards that fit them. So I'm super excited that I can finally display these in my binder. Still working on his Japanese set. Honestly working on most of these sets, but I did finish this one, so I'm pretty happy about that, just in time for my Bang Bang Kong merch to show up. And this is my little page for all of his unit cards. So I did get a lot more um, pages for this. I'm happy this is from the last membership, which I already ordered in my next one, so hopefully those will be sent out soon. I always feel like I'm a bit stagnant with Tay's collection just because of how bad BTS gets overpriced. Um, if you can't get it from Weaver, sometimes I feel like BTS collectors are one of the most exploited groups of collectors out there. And there's like, ooh, not much we can do about it because with the overpricing in the community, everybody just kind of gives into it because we want the merch and it's just... It's just like bad news bears all around, really. That's also discouraged me a bit from continuing to collect him, but he is my ult, so I'm going to keep going. These are big postcard sleeves that I got that fit these really nicely. However, um, you're going to see later, if you do collect Everglow, the Everglow postcards are just still a tiny bit too big for this. I'm still searching for pockets that fit Everglow sleeves. Uh, not sleeves, Everglow stuff perfectly. These are just two fan uh, things that I got. And then I'm going to oop over here <laughs> to Jisung section. So his section for Stray Kids is probably the one that I have almost complete the most out of everyone. So I'm super proud of it. And he's so cute. I have to buy more I Am Who albums, though, just to try to get stuff to trade. Because trying to buy them and maybe another I Am You album, it just doesn't, <laughs> just doesn't work out for some reason. Stray Kids get really overpriced as well, as does Red Velvet. I feel like all the groups that I collect are starting to get price hikes, and it's really not fun. I'm so ready for their next comeback, though. I already pre-ordered their full set, so I can't wait. And then two Chan cards live here. Um, I'm a clown. I decided that I wasn't going to collect him anymore, and now I am again, so he'll be getting his own selection again soon. This limited card is on the way. Hopefully it shows up soon. I've been waiting for almost two months now. I'm kind of worried it got lost in the mail. And then this is like his little pre-order page that I set up. Uh, his Miro sticker was too big to fit in the four pockets. I just kept it here with his little po lyric poster from I Am Who. These are the bookmarks you got from their last album. 
and then these are the film strips. So I have all four versions of the film strips, so that's why they're all here in one section. And then his standee. Now we'll move on to Subin's section. So I have a really bad habit of leaving the QR cards um, for BTS and TXT in here. His section is coming along quite nicely. I finally was able to store these nicely without worrying about them getting ruined. So I'm excited for TXT to have a comeback as well. I know I'm behind because I don't have their Japanese cards yet, but slowly but surely. And FedEx just pulled up, so I'm sure my dog is going to go crazy in a moment if that guy walks up here. And then here is Wushin's section, which I have all of his X1 stuff. I managed to get all his MMT cards for Greed, but I haven't really done any work when it comes to actually getting more of the album cards. I do plan on eventually being able to go back and get all of his stuff, but for now, his section just has a lot of the blue fillers in it. These are the little photo films that come with the Greed series. My favorite part that you get from the album is the little posters. This one is my favorite poster that came with it. I'm thinking of maybe putting this in the front for his section. I'm not sure yet. And then we go into Taman's section. Um, he was my original ult, actually. I just feel that I'm so behind on Shiny and him in general that I never really went back to do much, and I just kind of keep the cards I pull for him. And this is my Shiny catch-all section. So as I go back and get Shiny albums, which I remember I pull, I'm just going to keep the photo card as well as for their solos. I have no issue with keeping any of the members. I love Shiny, so no problem. And then... <laughs> My very sad New East collection. It's Ren, but I keep going back and forth if my bias is Ren or JR, and that's kind of been an issue for me. And keeping up with them as well is a bit of an issue. These are all first press cards. So I'm like, I, I don't want to give them up. Because <laughs> New East was actually the first group that I bought an album for, and the first group that I followed since their debut. So I'm conflicted. I feel like the further you go back, the sadder the sections get. So this is Kenta's section from JBJ. I really have not done a lot of work. And this is my like little extra page here. This is where, like, my little catch-all page for boy groups. So I have Thunder from my signed M Black album. Exo cards from the light stick I got. <laughs> my two My Teen cards, Rip My Teen, and a very, very flimsy monster x group card that came with the american version of their last album and yes i did tape this so the puzzle pieces wouldn't fall out and then there is an ad with june on it so my boy group binder is a bit um messy i think i have to do some more planning i do know that chen is going to be in here again He's going to have his own section. Probably combine him and Jisung in the front and put all their extras behind. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. Um, I did buy fan sign stuff for them already from the Go era. So that should be showing up soon, hopefully. I hope it shows up. And then, yeah, I don't know. I feel way more organized with my girl groups than I do with the boy groups. So I definitely have to go back through this and, like, fix it. But that was the boy group binder so the next one we'll go through i guess yeah we'll save the biggest collection for last so this is a girl group binder it is purple and it's mainly purple because the main group i really do collect is everglow um most of my money right now goes to everglow i do collect all six members they are having a comeback i am going to do a group order so i will put the link for the album interest check in the description below um, I will most likely be going through my music taste, though I am also going to check if um, Sub K offers different pre-order cards and if K-Town for You also offers limited pre-order cards. So I will let you guys know, but here we go. 
So this is their Bon Bon Chocolat era. As you can see, Xi'an has always almost been complete. Onda's set is fully complete, including the one broadcast card. I limit myself to one broadcast card per era, except for Hush. You'll see that soon. And I do grab broadcast cards when I see them for a good price. I managed to get Yiren's card for $11, which is, like, so rare now because people price her at $26. I guess this is the part where I'm going to go on a rant on Everglow pricing. The prices that people sell Everglow cards for are absolutely outrageous. BTS, Everglow, and Red Velvet and Stray Kids suffer from some of the most insane overpricing that I have seen taking advantage of collectors of groups. It's ridiculous. And I really feel like ever since the surgeons of, like, Stan Luna came in, more people came into the community and looked at, like, they can get other people's PCs from groups they want, overprice them so that they can go and buy their favorites. Now, before anybody says I'm putting it on orbits, I'm not. I just noticed when the whole Stan Luna craze came in, that movement, we had more of a shift in overpricing. Basically everybody, except for really new... Um, groups like rookie groups or groups that are underrated in general who aren't really known. So just the fact that she goes for $26 while the albums are still in print. If you don't follow Everglow that much, I just want all of you to know, all three of their previous albums are in print. It's cheaper to buy bulk albums for them than actually individually go through and buy their album photo cards. I think that is absolutely insane. And I don't think there's really much of a justification for it at all. Here is Hush Era. This is the era that's probably the most complete when it comes to broadcast cards. So Xion, you'll always notice that I always have Xion set done first because she is my main bias in the group, even though I do collect all of them. I list them in bias order. My phone always rings when I do one of these videos. So I do Xion, Onda, Isha, Mia, Iyu, and Yiren. Iyu's card I got for a really good price from a friend, and that was $8. So I'm lucky that I've been able to piece together some photo cards, but it's really difficult if you don't buy a lot of Everglow cards. These are the three group cards that came with their Hush albums, and these are broadcast cards. So I splurged on broadcast cards for Hush so that I would have a complete set. I didn't want the sets for each era to bleed into each other too much. So that is why I've done it this way. And now, literally, like my pride and joy of my Everglow collection is having Reminisce basically done with signed tour cards. I did get to see them live. I highly recommend seeing Everglow live if you can. They're amazing. The tour cards are legitimately signed by all the members. So I'm just super happy. I did buy six copies of the album plus one M-Wave signed version. So I had seven copies in total and managed to pull a different um, album photo card for each one. So that really did help. <laughs> And then here is the set of MMT photo cards. Just so you know, Onda does have three. I'm still looking for her last one. And these cards are the fan sign cards for this era, which are extremely hard to find. Also extremely overpriced. Um, I have all of them except for Yiren's, which unfortunately is probably going to be so expensive, but I'm still gonna try to get it anyway. So I'm really proud of this era and how it's shaped up. Um, I just wish I had gotten this when I saw it, the one time I saw it, but I'm going to keep going. This is where I'm going to put uh, Onda's last MMT. This is my VVIP badge from the tour, and this is a fan card that someone, um, a fan-made card that someone was handing out there, so I just put it in here. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet as well um, for spacing here. I haven't made my decision on what I want. Um, if they have like sticker extras, I'll probably put them here, hopefully if stuff fits there. We'll see. And then I've already prepared the pages because usually they do two cards per error for member and then one extra card here. So the biggest um, problem with collecting Everglow other than overpriced is the size of their postcards that they give. 
they literally don't fit in like anything except for one sleeves a4s will fit in but i want like postcard sleeves where they can be displayed nicely if anyone has a solution please let me know i will gladly buy them the sleeves and look into them because i really would like to display these better but i have not been able to find anything to do that so here are the reminisce postcard sets their calendar card sets each member got two but yes i'm very proud of my everglow collection and i hope that i can maintain it so the next section is Alexa. She is my favorite solo artist. So I did get a signed copy of Bomb. It's a promo. So here's a little mini poster that came with it. And I got one photo card that came in it. I do have to do some work on getting her other photo cards. I do know Interpark did like a merch package. So I have to look into that. And you got two sticker sheets that came with it. <laughs> Sungy, I honestly have not got any work in on her. I'm so sad. And then probably the biggest change is Sana here. I managed to get all of her pre-order cards before I seriously started collecting her for a dollar a piece for $22 for all her eras. So that was really nice. And I've been slowly but surely collecting her as I go. She's going to be a very slow growing collection. I don't have a problem with it being a slow growing collection at all. Um, so if you have Sana cards, I'm willing to trade for them or to get um, to buy them for a really decent price. Um, not $20, I'll tell you that now. But uh, yeah, so I actually have one through and labeled everything that I want and that I need. So I will be going back and getting probably one copy of each album. I think Fancy, I have two cards for this is a japanese card that i managed to get um from a group order and then this is where i'm gonna post stuff post post stuff put stuff for twice lights feel special with her iconic pink hair and then the one era that i do have the most done for is more and more because i did actually order this album set i'm just missing two photo cards for more and more and then probably one more group card that i'm gonna get with her in it and just toss here here, her extras as well as a random momo and then my first ultimate female bias is hyosung which i'm really hoping she'll come back soon but i have no idea if she will so this is her area the sections as you go further after everglow honestly aren't worked on as much just because like i said a majority of my money does go to everglow currently just to try to get their eras done before i fall too far behind which, since they are having a comeback now, I'm like, oh gosh, here we go. Not even fully finished with Reminisce. And now I have to worry about another era, but we'll deal with it. We'll deal. Jessica's section is really sad. I still just have one little photo card for her, but we love Jessica in this house. We stand her, so I will eventually do more. Here is Susie. Susie's going to be slow as well to get her things. And then here is Soli's page, which I'm not doing too bad. I just need three more photo cards for her. So I'm going to work on that as well because I, I do want to have her collection complete. And then these are like my little catch-alls. I'm keeping these three. I will be trading these three for like Sungy cards, hopefully. I just have to post. It's been hard, you know, with the pandemic and everything. Trying to keep good mental health, physical health, and just not going stir crazy is really, really hard. Really, really hard. So, you know, like, everybody just needs to be easy on each other and just breathe. Prioritize your health first. If you can't film that video, then don't film it. If you can't do it, then don't do it. So, here we go. And then, the best girl in the world joy she gets her own binder um i probably spent too much on joy but i love her so much so we're going to get into it real quick i do have her binder cover from rbb but um i don't want it to get ruined so i just kept it in here so here is one page um also fun fact i am going to have to um reorganize my joy section because i realized I left out um, Red Summer <laughs> like an idiot, and I only realized it the other day, but I really wanted to film this anyway. Oh, I just realized you can see my tripod. 
Oh well, it's okay. I put it out so far so you didn't see the uh, glare. So here we go. I do keep up to date with Joy the most. I have this card on the way, I believe. So that'll be done. I have oh, almost all of her extras, her fan club cards, everything. I did manage to get the um, Oompa Oompa version for the La Roche Japan tour. Still working on trying to get the cycle version. It is very stressful. So here is the La Roche uh, section. And then I did put their little photo card they got from the tour book in here as well. Here is Psycho, which probably has one of my favorite photo card sets. These are all official photo cards. This is where the Trolls photo card is going to go. This is the Trolls um, photo card set. And I managed to get two of the pop-up cards. I did order the denim one, so I'm still looking for the Power Up one for a decent price. If anybody is selling, please let me know. Here are her postcards. I'm really proud of my Joy collection. I love her so much. And I'm just so happy that I've been able to keep up with her so well. Um, probably because I prioritize her a lot. So if I notice SM announces anything with Joy, I generally jump on it. Before it gets sold out. Because unfortunately, um, with SM, resale prices, Joy and Irene do go for the most... And it's very painful sometimes to have to pay resale prices. Like, very, very painful. Which is why I've gotten into a habit of running my own group orders to try to help other collectors as well as helping myself afford things nicely. For Red Velvet, I also do recommend um, Chabom for group orders. Um, if you're a Red Velvet collector and don't know who Chabom is... Um, you might live under a rock. He's probably known it. Like, he's not probably. He is, like, the Joy Stan. Um, he has basically all of her cards, all of her limited cards. So he's just... He's on top of it. <laughs> he really is. He's goals when it comes to uh, Joy collecting. So, like, I highly recommend you guys look him up if you haven't. Which I'm itching for another... Um, red velvet comeback now that wendy has finally come back to us i'm so excited i feel like it's going to happen soon ish i feel like <laughs> so like i'm preparing my wallet um i'm just hoping they're not gonna all come back like in october because i know bts is planning for an october comeback as well so i'm just like guys please try to space stuff out a little bit these are from the season's greetings and I get asked about this a lot. This is from her OST for um, the Liar and His Lover that she was a part of. So this is like this whole little section that I have. Hers is double sleeved. And then I just decided to display the other actors' photo cards because like, I don't want them to get ruined either. One of my favorite A4 pictures of her. And then I put these on the back from the photo book just because I didn't feel like getting another slot out for them. And honestly, this is probably one of my favorite pictures of her we've ever gotten. This is from one of the uh, the previous year's season's greetings, and then these are the two for this year. So like I said, I really think when it comes to Joy, like, I'm on top of it, because I love her so much. Um, so hopefully we'll get more stuff with Joy soon, and I will do probably do a reorganizing my Joy binder video soon. Um... Hopefully, then we can keep her over here because following her is my little red velvet binder that I just use as a catch-all for my um, for the other members. So these are their fan club sets and then the RBB uh, uh, photo card that came with this. The season's greeting set I put all together. And then I did get monster, so I just kept what I pulled for... Silgi and Irene, probably one of my favorite Irene cards ever. A little postcards. They're postcards from their season's greetings. And then I have the sticker sheet that the bookmark came with and two more postcards in the back here. So 
as you can see, I really do love red velvet. But yeah, so that was my, uh, woo, where my really long overdue, um, photo card catch up. It's 25 minutes, so I'm going to try to keep this short. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you.